Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on scalars and matrices. So we are going to understand what scalar is, now what are matrices, how do we define matrices, how do we define scalars, and then we are going to perform certain functions on these scalars. So um, let's have uh, first let's have a data because this data we would use throughout um, this video if we had to so it's uh, good to have this data installed so if you have been watching our other videos we usually use auto data so we use sys use auto dot dta and this clear option means that if there is any data already in our memory it would be clear so we import the data and now let's uh, understand what scalar is and what are matrices so scalar is something that would store uh, a single uh, number or a single uh, string. Uh, if you if you if you know what a string is, it is a it is a non-numerical uh, value. Whereas matrices can store uh, multiple numbers or multiple strings. So that is the basic difference between scalar and matrices. Um, and how do we define? So let's first start with the scalar. How do we define scalar? We write the command scalar. This is the command. This would always remain the same. Then we, we write a, a, a variable name. This variable won't appear in the variable window. It would be stored in the internal memory of this data. So let's call it A. You can give it any name. Then we use the equal to sign, which is an assignment operator. And let's give it a numerical value of 1 to 3. So, so we have just defined a scalar. Remember, I, I defined scalar as a as something that would only store a single uh, a single numerical value or a string value. So that's why we are just storing a single number, right? So it is one, two, three, but again, it is a single number. Uh, if we wanted to display this number, we would simply write display command and then uh, followed by the, uh, uh, the, the the scalar name. That's how uh, we display that specific. But normally we are not interested in displaying uh, a scalar or a matrix or some value on the in the on the data window results window. What we are interested in is in performing certain tasks on them. But I use display because it is easy to understand. It gives you a clear idea of what the command can do quickly. It is simple. But let's just say we wanted to create a variable, uh, generate a variable. So we would use generate command, then the variable name. Let's call it variable one. And let's assign it a value uh, which we have stored it in scalar one. So now this new variable would be generated and it would it would it wouldn't have the value of a right uh, rather it would have uh, the value uh, that a represents and in this case because we have already defined the scalar a it represents the value one two three so let's execute this and we would uh, if i open the window or the data view you would know you would see that we have a variable one we are one and it it have a value of one to three instead of a if you wanted to it to have uh, let's just say uh, the string a then we would use uh, inverted commas and let's change the variable name because we already have variable one and you would uh, quickly get the idea that now we have a string variable so uh, so if if you uh, if so so instead of uh, so what the idea is that uh, we can perform different tasks rather than just displaying this scale right but just for the sake of understanding we would always use display display the matrix or display the scalar yeah okay so uh, it's not just that it can store a a specific value but it can store the result of a value so in this case we are defining a scalar b called b and we are giving it a value of um, uh, the the resultant value of 2 plus 2 so it should uh, if we display this b scalar it should give us a value of 4 similarly we can have this scalar st store a string value previously we had been asking it to store 
a, a numeric value but in this case we are giving it a string value and for string we would have to use inverted commas so this is the whole set of string right if we display this uh, the scalar oh sorry we didn't define it in the first place if we display the scalar it would simply display it right or we can uh, display different scalars so in this case we want it uh, to display c followed by b so it would say 2 plus 2 is equal to this part of the the um, the result is coming from the c scalar and the the rest of the part is coming from the b scalar or we can uh, have it uh, we can use the scalar to perform certain other actions for example we can display b plus a scalar and that would give us 4 plus 123 that would be 127 now that's a basic uh, idea of scalar and uh, we would also explore why uh, what is the advantage of having scalar but let's first understand matrices because these two go uh, simultaneously okay so what matrices is that uh, it will store multiple values, multiple strings and numeric values. In this case, first we would have to define a matrix. So we use matrix define. This is the command to define the matrix. Then the name of the matrix. And within parentheses, we would give uh, some values uh, separated by a comma. So we have four, five, six. And then we have used this uh, backward slash this backward slash is used to represent another row, right? In matrices, we have different rows, different columns. Either we can just have a row vector, that, that wouldn't be a matrix, but a vector. In that case, we would just have one row if it is a row vector. Or we would have just one column if it is a column vector. So let's first uh, define this matrix and then I would show you the vectors. So let's have two rows because we have a backslash one. So the first would have four, five and six and then second row would have seven, eight and nine. We have defined the matrix and if we just wanted to uh, see what the matrix looks like, we would use matrix list and the name of the matrix. Uh, and, and this is how the matrix look like. We have two rows, three columns, columns being separated by commas and a row being separated by a backward slash. If you wanted to uh, get a specific value from this matrix, then we would uh, simply use the display command, name of the matrix, and within uh, the brackets, we would uh, write the row number and the column number. So in this case, we want to access first row and the third column of uh, this D matrix. So this is how we would display it. So remember, the first row and the third uh, column would have a value of 6, which is displayed over here. Now let me uh, remove this uh, backslash and let's have a comma. In this case, now I'm not defining matrix, but it is a row vector. We would just have, so if I define it and just display it, you would see we just have one row. So it is a row vector, row vector only have one row and uh, multiple, uh, multiple columns. Uh, or if we had used uh, these backslashes instead of uh, these commas, right, then we would have a, a column vector, right? We have multiple rows, but a single column, right? Uh, the definition is same. The displaying of values is same, irrespective of whether it is a row vector, column vector, or a matrix, right? I would go back to my previous setting because I have other commands to use and I would define this matrix. We can also use, uh, we can also define a scalar that would store a specific value of a specific matrix. So for in this case, uh, we want to define a scalar 
called E and it would store uh, the value from first row and the second column which would be 5 the 5 number we want to store it in a scalar E if we display this E scalar we would get a value of 5 now that's all about uh, scalar and matrices but uh, just understanding scalar and matrices won't do you much good um, we need to understand what um, how a, a, an estimation commands uh, store different values of the estimations, right? Uh, they store it in scalars or matrices. And that's what we are going to discuss in our next video. So in our next video, what we are going to do is we are going to see how the estimation commands like summarize, correlation or regression stores values in different scalars and matrices and how do we extract those values from uh, from them.